Hello and welcome to The Professionals. I'm joined today by Dominic Ayres, an international senior client, marketing and strategy manager at Evershed Sutherland. Dominic has just published his first book, How to Advance Your Career in Professional Services Marketing, and has kindly agreed to open the cover and tell the professionals a little bit about what readers can expect. So Dominic, welcome once again to The Professionals. Hi, Matt. It's good to be back on your show. I think it was a year ago we, we last spoke. So uh, as you can see from the, the topic, we've, I've been very busy over last year. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I, it always amazes me how anybody finds the time to write a book. Um, Dominic, I wonder, um, maybe the best the first question is um, maybe give us a brief insight into um, what the book is about, a little introduction to the book. Sure. So I found throughout my career, there's good books in marketing, there's good books in career management, but there's not one that's really brought this together, particularly in the professional service industry. So the book titled, as you say, How to Advance Your Career in Professional Service Marketing is a practical guide. It's something that has tools, it has actual insights. It's not just my own uh, thoughts and kind of career journey, but actually I've sought out kind of marketing directors, CMOs from around the world to share what's helped them in their career. Um, you know, what's working, what has helped them progress from, you know, starting in the industry to you know, really thriving and then moving up into that top of, uh, you know, the top position such as a CMO. Um, so, you know, if you're looking to become you know, really intentional about your career, um, look at how you're advancing your career within the sector, then it's something that, you know, you'd find really invaluable. I think it, it does sound a, a truly fantastic asset and it's the sort of thing I wish uh, was around 20 years ago when I was starting my career in the sector. Um, why do you think the book is needed now, Dominic? Yeah, I mean, I, to your point around 20 years ago, I mean, this was something that I was, you know, really wanted when I started my career. I started at you know, DLA Piper almost 10 years ago and I remember looking for this book and um, although you know nothing has come in in that time, actually you know, now more than ever, it's needed because you know, the market is so competitive for talent. Um, you know, part of this is that firms are aggressively trying to target growth in their businesses. The last you know 12 months um, has been really difficult on firms, and now you know, having marketeers or BD or client focused professionals that really focus on what it takes to be strategic to help their firms position themselves. Is really important and to do that they need their marketing teams to take on that role develop the skills have the ability to work with stakeholders and to really help drive that growth for their organization and to do that it's in your hands to mm. to do that so um still now when you enter the sector there's very little kind of support there's very little direction in the same way that lawyers get um so you have to take a lot of your learning and what you do on your own and you know performance reviews and that are helpful and objectives but you you take ownership for your career journey so hopefully this book is something that now will help those people that won't have to find all the challenges and the solutions that we have had to do in our career you mentioned um earlier uh, dominic that you've actually gone to quite a few external sources um to help you put to this uh, book who did who did you turn to um for inspiration and insight yeah, so in, in the first instance, I am the target audience for this book. So it was me when I started in the industry. Uh, it was me when I was at manager level and to me now as a senior manager. But that's only so far I could go. So what I did is I, I thought about the colleagues, the peers, the, the, the bosses that I've always really admired in the sector that do things that are probably I couldn't do as well. Um, so I sought those out and I said, I'm looking to do this. Would you be interested? But in doing so also, I really wanted to tap into who other people admired. So when I found CMOs or those that I was asking, I always said, who do you admire? Who do you think is really driving you know, performance in the sector? Who's, whose career do you admire from afar? And that helped me find the next person. And generally, everyone was very eager to, to contribute to this because we've all gone through this and we've all seen the value in creating this. So it started out very much as my own book, but then it felt like it became you know, a collaboration of, you know, 50 professionals, I think, around the world. And I was really keen that they weren't just from the UK or the US, which are two big markets. I saw out people from Mexico to Hong Kong to Dubai, 
um because because actually i can't talk about their experience i don't know what it's like to do this job outside of the uk so i think you know that was really important that i sought out inspiration from others it does it sounds a really interesting and really fascinating book and um, i wonder maybe if you'd like to maybe pick out one of the themes that you cover in the book and just uh, give us a little bit of an insight uh, as to um, what we might uh, expect if we were to pick it up and read it. Yeah, so I mean, one of the key themes I found is you know, everyone's career journey into the sector is completely different. You know, uh, Paul Taylor, who wrote my foreword, he actually did a medical degree and you know, I did a marketing degree. And, and what this means is that we all come in with different ways of doing things. We all have different approaches that actually we can't actually build any consistency in how we develop talent and you progress your career. So, you know, I think the theme from this is I've managed to build together almost like a blueprint of things to do in your career. What are some of the key issues you'll face? So I think one of the things that I found most interesting, it's something that this book caters more for the, the junior professionals, is how do you go from a marketing professional that sometimes focuses quite a lot on the tactics of the role rather than that strategic thinking. So when you move up into a manager or senior manager, the business looks for you to choose a direction. What should you tell your stakeholders to be moving in terms of the marketing strategy rather than just doing things, actually question why we do this, what is happening in the market, what do our clients care about? So I think that's a really hard thing that we don't always get taught and that was something that, you know, I focused quite a lot on in the book. And, you know, when I spoke to CMOs, and that was things they were expecting their teams to do in the future. So I think that's an area that a lot of people would take the most value from and, and a real trend to focus on going back to that position in peace, how competitive the market is. It, it sounds like it's the sort of book that uh, an ambitious uh, exec um, building their career should keep on their desk pretty much every day of the week and turn to um, for advice and guidance. Um, I'm always in awe of anybody who has the time to write a book and particularly when you're holding down a busy day job um, and, and I understand you've got a young family as well, Dominic. And how on earth do you find the time? How do you eke out the hours in the day to uh, put pen to paper and write a book? Yeah, well, I think it's a funny story that I didn't actually set out to write a book at the start of the year. I, I very much set out to build my brand within the industry. And part of that was writing a few articles for publications. And it wasn't until I did an event where I talked about proactive career management, it actually got me thinking about the career and how I could help others. And before I knew it, I wrote an article, a few articles, a guide, and then it became a book. So I think, you know, being able to just start something and kind of then build from there was really key. Um, to your point, I've got three kids and ironically, I ended up doing an MBA uh, for three months alongside this book, which was a nightmare um, in terms of my time and, and personal life. But I would say if there's something you really want to do and you're passionate about outside of work, whether it's a book or anything, you'll find time for it. You'll um, really you know, have out the hours, um, you know, People keep saying to me, have I watched all the latest TV shows on Disney Plus? I say I haven't watched anything probably in six months. Because um, I think, you know, I was really passionate about creating something that will help, you know, me in the past and those of the future in the sector. That actually, it motivated me, you know, it'd be 10 at night, one in the morning, I'd just, I'd just do it, you know. And um, I think like that, that's where you find that you've got a real passion project. Yeah. Um, it, it, is there any advice that you would give uh, to anybody considering uh, writing their own book? Yeah, I've definitely learned a lot. I mean, it's a whole niche in itself from, you know, I've got a marketing degree, but the book marketing side, you know, there's every there's gospel on it. Um, I mean, the, the three things I took most away from it is find a topic that you're passionate about, you know, one that you have lots of knowledge in and also that is very niche because it helps you that you don't have to do lots of research, you know, what the target audience probably wants and it goes back to that thing is you're motivated you're energized to write it it's a bit like starting new habits as we enter the new year you know things like fitness habits a lot of people do things they don't want to enjoy and writing a book can be like that if you're not picking the right topic to focus on um i think you know little and often um some some weeks i would literally write five chapters um i'd get out of the shower and i'd be able to just write a chapter like that on, on my phone um, or voice record it. 
the next week I'll be so busy with work or family life that I'd write a sentence. So I think if you can just keep momentum, that small kind of, um, you know, a little bit here and there is really helpful. But I think also be really clear why you're doing this. So I wrote this book to help those in the industry and help professionals. I'll never make a million on this book like Malcolm Gladwell or <laughs> Seth Godin. And as my marketing colleagues keep pointing out, I priced it at a pound, part that everyone has access to it rather than you know, making uh, lots of money on this. So, and there'll be those that will be listeners to us that will want to write a book for revenue, their brand, or maybe they run a consulting business and actually um, it will help them, you know, create opportunities. So I think, you know, it's really important, you know, why are you doing this? What could it lead to for you? Um, so like I said, I think, you know, I, I was really clear that I want to self-publish this. I want to have control. I want to be able to offer it for a pound for people. Mm -hmm. um, so if you know all that, then it really helps come through. And I think that's why I was able to create it in quite a short period of time. I probably started in the summer last year. So, you know, six months probably um, through to completion. Is it quite easy to self-publish um, a book? Is it uh, something that uh, anybody could do? If I can do it, honestly, I, I, I hope this is an impetus for anyone that has had imposter syndrome or not thought about this. There's so many guides and great content out there. Um, ironically, I've spoken to two uh, people in the sector, one in legal tech this week and one that is a consultant to managing directors, um, managing partners of, of law firms. And they're thinking about books and I shared you know, some of the resources and how to do it. And I think now they're quite confident that they can, they can start their project. So um, I think like anything, if you do the research, you seek to understand it, then, then you'll be able to achieve it. Fantastic. And uh, a final question is, is where can people get hold of, um, uh, get hold of this book? Sure. So um, as I've self-published it, I'm using Amazon as a platform. So it's available to pre-order in Kindle format now for, uh, 99p as I've mentioned already um, but from the 24th of January is the official launch date so uh, that's when there's also going to be a paperback available I've actually got the sample size here so, so that's kind of what the, the book looks like fantastic Dominic uh, marketer and author uh, thank you ever so much for joining the professionals it's really appreciated thanks for having me Matt always a pleasure <laughs>